One thing I always love is when the Guardian of all people complain about censorship. <laughs> when, when they spend all their time trying to shut down anything right wing. You know, they always go after places like BitChute and Rumble and all that, and they try and get them shut down. So it's always funny seeing The Guardian complain about it. Uh, US book bans and attempted bans rise as efforts extend to public libraries. Uh, American Library Association notes efforts to ban titles have spread beyond school libraries to those open to the general public. Now, this is where I'm going to give a bit of a different take, but I'll, I'll leave it to the end. Uh, book bans and attempted book bans continue to hit record highs. I don't like why this is... No, I'm not going to register. Go away. Just let me read bloody crap article. Uh, book bans and attempted book bans continue to hit record highs. According to the American Library Association, the efforts now extend as much to public libraries as school-based libraries. Through the first eight months of 2023, the ALA tracked 695 challenges to library materials and services, compared with 681 during the same time period last year, and a 20% jump in the number of unique titles involved to 1,915. School libraries have long been the predominant target, but in 2023, reports have been near equally divided between schools and libraries open to the general public, the ALA announced on Wednesday. Now, I'll just save it for the end, right? There's a, there's a bunch to go over in regards to libraries and, like, age gate and certain books. Uh, the irony is that you had some censors who said that those who didn't want books pulled from schools could just go to the public libraries, says Deborah Caldwell, uh, Deborah Caldwell Stone, <laughs> I finated her last name, who directs the association's office for intellectual freedom. The ALA defines a challenge as a formal written complaint filed with a library or school requesting that materials be removed because of content or appropriateness. In 2019, the last pre-pandemic year, the association recorded just 377 challenges involving 566 titles. That'll be because people weren't paying attention so much, but I keep, I keep nearly shooting my load early, you know. I don't want to make you like my wife, where you're very, very disappointed. I'll save it for the end. Uh, the numbers fell in 2020 when many libraries were closed, but have since risen to the most in the association's 20-plus year history of compiling data. Because the totals are based on media accounts and reports submitted by librarians, the ALA regards its numbers as snapshots with many incidents left unrecorded. Continuing a trend over the past two years, the challenges are increasingly directed against multiple titles. In 2023, complaints about 100 or more works were recorded by the ALA in 11 states, compared with six last year and none in 2021. The most sweeping challenges often originate with conservative organisations such as Mums for Liberty, which has organised banning efforts nationwide and called for more parental control over books available to children. That I have no problem with, but again, we'll go into it. There's certain things about the library. Uh, that libraries do. I don't know if it's the case in America, but it was certainly the case over here. Uh, there used to be a roughly one-to-one -one ratio where a parent would complain about an individual book, like in the days when many were objecting to Harry Potter, Caldwell Stone says. Now you have people turning up at meetings and asking that a hundred titles be removed. The ALA released, it released its numbers in advance of its annual banned books week, uh, one, first to the 7th of October, when libraries highlight, challen uh, blah, when libraries highlight challenged works. Earlier this year, the Association Association issued its annual top 10 list of the books most objected to in 2022, many of them featuring racial and LGBTQ plus, blah, plus themes. See, that, that's a tongue twister now and it's of its own. It's got too complicated. Uh, Maya Kobabi's Gender Queer topped the list, followed by George Johnson's All Boys Aren't Blue and the Nobel Laureate Toni Morrison's The Bluest Eye. Attacks against teachers and librarians have been ongoing in 2023. At Chapin High School in South Carolina, some students alleged a teacher made them feel ashamed to be Caucasian for assigning Tanehisi Coates uh, between the world and me uh, an open letter to his son about police violence against black people that won the National Book Award in 2015. The school removed the book from the syllabus. I mean, I, I, th I don't think it's very good to make uh, people feel ashamed for who they are. I'm pretty sure that's one of the things that you guys were always complaining about. Why is it okay to do it to us? In Fort Royal, Virginia, the County Board of Supervisors is planning to drastically cut funding of the Samuels Public Library in response to conservative complaints about books with gay, lesbian, and transgender characters. The governor of Iowa, Kim Reynolds, signed, a law, uh, signed into law a bill which calls for books depicting sex acts to be removed from school libraries. I don't see a problem with that whatsoever. I don't think pornography should be involved in school libraries. Unless it's... You know how where you've got, like... Well, I don't, I don't know the picture for it, but it's like a diagram. See how if you're teaching the birds and the bees, but it shows like the man and the woman, but it's like they've been cut in half, so you see all like the internal organs, and you see 
what's going on. That's fine because that's purely strictly for scientific purposes. That is a teaching thing. That's a teaching implement. So that I've not got a problem with. But I've seen some of the books. Uh, basically, can you go see it on Twitter? No. Do you want to know why you can't see some of the excerpts from these books on Twitter? Because it gets flagged as CP. That's why. Because it's literally CP. Right, it's showing you kids engaging in sex acts with each other. I've se I've seen the pictures that were on Twitter, and then I seen them get fucking banned because it get flagged as CP because that's what it was. Uh, some attacks have affected the Library Association itself. The ALA's opposition to bannings had led has led some communities to withdraw their membership, including Campbell County in Wyoming and a local library in Midland, Texas. Missouri officials uh, announced the state would be leaving the ALA at a time when recent laws limit access for young people to books considered inappropriate for their age. I think this trend is going to continue, Caldwell Stone says, at least for as long as these groups want to go after whole categories of books. Now, pornographic or sexual content books in school libraries, I'm fine with them being taken out there because it's school children, right? I wouldn't want a primary school stocking these books because it shows... It literally, it was a picture of a kid blowing another kid, right? That was one of the books that they were trying to come after to the point where the books are so graphic and so vulgar that when parents try to read them out at PTA meetings, they get shut down and removed from the building because they're so graphic. Now, see if these are far too graphic to be read out during a PTA meeting or like a local council meeting, then why are they okay to show to children? That's my problem. That's what I'll say. Pornographic sexual books, unless it's those that are strictly like scientific, biological, where it's like the diagram I described, about the birds and the bees whatever that's fine but that's not what these books were right i've seen the stuff that's in these books that is not what it was it was exposing kids to sexual acts at a very young age which is crap and i don't like it and i don't want it right so stuff being removed from schools fine not a problem with that whatsoever right because like i said when they turn 18 or when they leave school and go to the library or go to a bookshop or go on amazon they can buy the book and have the book right that's not a book ban the book has been banned from the schools a book ban is you're not allowed this book you're not allowed it from amazon shops aren't allowed to stock it in fact you're not allowed to publish it that's a book ban that's a full-on book ban however all these books are still very easily accessible just not within the school now the problem is remember how i said many times that when the pendulum swingeth back it's going to swing back very very hard well this is the pendulum swinging too far back which i did warn you about but you know hey you know, I'm just an idiot, you know, who who needs to listen to me? What's happening is they're now going after the libraries, which I don't support. If a library wants to stock a particular book, then that library can stock that book. Now, one thing that I realised, I remember that I forget the book. I forget the book that I was trying to check out. But back when I remember libraries, we used to have a library in Cope Bridge. It's long gone now. But uh, there was a thing... Well, well, the old library's gone. I love the old library. It was great. I don't even know what that building's getting used for anymore. But anyway, uh, <coughs> I was like 15 or something. I used to get books for the library all the time. I really enjoyed it. I, I liked going down to the library and checking some books out. It's actually where I read, first read, 1984. Uh, and I remember I tried to check a book out and I got declined. Oh no, you need to be over 18 for that book. And I was like, why? And they were like, because there's some graphic violence in it. And I was like, oh, but I, 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 fucking, it's annoying me. I forget the name of the book. Uh, shit, I can't remember. I can't remember. I just seen it and I thought, oh, that looks quite interesting. And I tried to fucking get, get the book out. Was it a Chris Ryan book? Was it a Chris? I forget. I just know it was a military story sort of based book. And I was declined because I wasn't 18 yet. And I was, I remember sitting there like that, that's bullshit, like arguing with the women. But no, that was it. I wasn't allowed to rent out the book. A lot of libraries have that in place where if a book is sexual or suggestive, you know, you can get a kid's library card, which once you turn 18, it gets upgraded. So libraries having that where it's like, oh, this book is sexual in nature. You can't have this book out until you turn 18. Not a problem, that's absolutely fine. After anyone turns 18, buy whatever fucking book you want. I've got Mein Kampf sitting over there, All right? I've, have whatever book you want after you turn 18. Once you turn 18, I don't care. I don't care, that's it. Buy any book you want. But libraries having that in place to prevent younger people from access, accessing sexual or gory or very shocking content, not a problem with that whatsoever. However, this is now you taking away the choice of adults when you're attacking the library itself. No, you're not allowed to stock this book. You're now preventing adults from accessing that information. You're going too far, right? Now, you are being the censors. Now, you are the one that are causing the problems. That is where I start to have a problem, right? Banning it from uh, schools, but when they turn 18, buy all these books if you want. Fucking 
plaster your walls in its pages if you want, not a problem, absolutely fine. However, going after the libraries who are serving them to adults, that's not cool, that's not good, that's not fine, that's you being censorious, that is anti-human rights and you can't do that. However, I don't know if in America they have like the age system where, oh, if you, you can get this book but you have to be over 18, I don't know, I'm just saying the case here. But yeah, this is uh, the pendulum swinging back uh, way too far, but I mean, I warned you this would happen, I don't support it, but... I did warn you.